Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today is July 20th, 2009. It is Bulletin Man from deep down within the Bulletin Bunker. I'm bringing you the latest and the greatest of what's going on around these parts. <laughs> How you doing today? Hope you're having a great July 20th. It's Moon Day. Today, today is this the day, today, today, today. Today is the day that we celebrate the uh, landing, the 40th year anniversary of the moon landing, or the so-called moon landing. Neil Armstrong, Buzz, all those guys supposedly took a trip to the moon, planted the flag, and the flag flurls out, and, you know, like there's atmosphere on the moon. And, uh, I was watching the tapes yesterday when they're coming down the steps, you know, and, and they're coming down the steps, and uh, you can see it really well. Uh, like, how did the camera get there? <laughs> if they're the first ones coming off the spaceship, then how does the camera get there? Please, folks. The military industrial complex runs the whole show. Did we go to the moon? Man, I hate to burst your bubble. And I was a big space nut, and I spent some time at the Space Museum, about two and a half years, folks. I've looked into it, and I can come to one conclusion. We didn't go there. You know, and I think a lot of things about America are now becoming apparent to, to you and me. We can't see what the rest of the world has seen for the last 20 years. That America is nothing but a bunch of lies. And it is run by nothing but a bunch of liars. You see, the devil is a liar. And the devil is large and in charge of our country now. We need to pray for revival for this country. For the restoration of America. For it's coming. One way or another, it's coming. Uh, if you get a chance, check out Pastor James Manning, the Manning Report. He does a little show similar to what I'm doing. Of course, uh, Pastor Manning is in Harlem, New York, and he's a black pastor, but he knows the score with Obama. He calls him the long-legged Mac Daddy. And Google that under the white Rodney King and watch that video. He's right. People are getting fed up. Go down to court tomorrow or Wednesday night and see how many people are lined up outside that courthouse up there giving money to the man. Go down to that jail and see how many people are in that jail. That jail wouldn't be 15-20% occupied if you let everybody out of there who, uh, who owes money and put them on some sort of work release program to pay the man. What happened to the debtor's prison? But I'm telling you folks, things are changing here in America. Things are getting bad. They're not getting any better. I'm out on the street every day. I walk up and down these streets every day. Very few areas are unaffected by this recession. I was in one today, and business is slow there, but uh, at least the, the retail population is still there. Uh, well, I mean, I was out on Manchester the other day, and I bet you it was 35%, 40% unoccupied. And, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, that, that place was full. You know, it was packed. So things are changing here in America. I want you to be encouraged. Hang in there. We've got to find out what's going on. Um, with all the lies, you know, it's all coming to a head, folks. Uh, the moon landing, it's a lie. Uh, you know, the good guy image. America has not been the good guy since World War II. And I think in World War II, we weren't the good guy either. And I think you got to go back to the 1890s, 1900. You know, we had, we've had Masonic presidents every year, um, basically. And they run in the show. And they're going to bring chaos first and out of that chaos comes order and you're seeing the chaos come so you've been warned speaking of chaos crystal cities and chaos um, the chiefs resigning I hear going to mineral area college to, treat, to teach law enforcement my goodness what's he going to teach him? Peggy's brother Bobby I went to high school with Bobby <laughs> it ain't looking good for Bobby he's down there Stories changed three times about the voting incident. I like Bob too, man. I, I want to think the right thing, but I also hear some other stuff that's very disturbing. 
And you know what? Uh, I don't know what's going to go on with that situation. I hear the audit come out today too. It ain't on the website yet, but they're having a big closed meeting down there in Crystal City tonight. And I hear that smelter deal, it's in peril and jeopardy as well, but I don't know. I just hear things. I do know this much, that we are being sold out. Our politicians, our lawyer friends, they're all thieving from us. They're all a bunch of lying, thieving, cheating, stealing crooks. And it's time for you, the American people, to wake up and recognize and understand who your real enemy is. 911. Who are the real terrorists, my friends? Think about it. It ain't hard. Just think about it. Use a little common sense. Who's the war against? Huh? Look at the wall. Who's the war against? Is it Osama bin Laden? Or is it people like me and you who love this country? Who speak out and speak their mind? You know, America is the greatest country on the face of the earth. I want to preserve and keep it for these children I have. So I need you to help me. I need you to join with me. Uh, I, I need you to stand up and be bold here in this last hour because Jesus is soon to come. And, but before he comes, I see a restoration of the Republic of the United States of America. I see Barack Obama resigning. But you know what? I think he was put there to destroy America. America is being has been designed to be destroyed. And when he is no longer in office, that was what will be the catalyst uh, for riots in the inner cities, martial law to be called. You know, you know, the, end, the end game is martial law, folks. Remember that. So, But it's all coming to a head. Jesus is soon to come. Get saved. Get right with the Lord. That's the best I can tell you to do. And I do appreciate you stopping by the website, checking us out. New bulletin is coming to the Festus in Crystal City. I haven't forgotten about you. There's a few over at the BP station if you uh, won't really got to get a hard copy of it. If not, I'll be over there the next day or so. You have a great afternoon. Take care. I love you. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, as always, please tell a friend about the one and only Bulletin Man. Thank you.